team in America. Threw it just 15 times week one. He finds his tight end Brady Russell on the first play of this one for a gain of 15. More dynamic safeties in college football. And watch your nickel, Antonio Johnson. Free rusher. Lewis gets hit and it's picked off. Hansford drilled him and Peavy picked it off. He brings an extra defender. You see a lack of communication. It's only a four-man rush. They drop from the weak side. But that free rusher is that former running back wide receiver turned linebacker that's got explosive speed. Get off the field. Smith, the motion man. They give it, or they fake it. And it's King getting thrown down a little bit short. Seth Small, whose career long is 52. Low snap, on the way, he hooks it left. Aggies unable to take advantage of the short field. Fence like this, production on that perimeter. And they do think they have some talent there. Pressure coming on third down. Lewis feels it, steps up, and breaks a tackle to get a first down. To a and m territory. On second and one, it's Lewis on the replay. First down and then some. Brendan Lewis spins into the clear. Inside the 20. The freshman making moves and running for 30. Alex Fontenot in the game of running back for the first time. It's Rice, or it's Lewis to the left side. And it's first down and goal for Colorado. Get it right back to where they had it before the penalty. Second down and goal. It's Broussard again. Surging through and in for the Colorado touchdown. The underdog strikes first. So second and 10, lane in motion. Calzada retreating, trying to set up the screen. It's Spiller, who's chased and drilled out of bounds from behind by Landman. They rush four. Calzada steps up down the seam and nowhere close to his intended receiver, Caleb Chapman. And an empty set for Colorado. See more of this this week than we did all of last week. Lewis hitting the crossing, Arias. Daniel Arias had a steam first down from the 30. Lewis on the roll, turns the shoulders, lets it go with a perfect strike, and it's Arias again. So much cushion. Quickly on the ball, third and two. Fontenot fights his way for a first down to the 40. Texas A&M showing pressure. Lewis keeps it. Russell in front, hits the seam. First down inside the 25. Possession of that football. Third down in 14 or 15. And it brings pressure. He steps away from the first man. He throws incomplete. O'Neal from his safety spot to break it up. Tries this one from 46. And it's wide to the right. Colorado comes away empty-handed on this drive. Under Kevin Sumlin. And steady improvements every year since. Here's a hole for Bruce Sard and a first down to the 43. In the second level to move the chains. First and 10. Back to Broussard, a couple of blockers in front. Another good run for Jarek Broussard. This one for 13 into Colorado Territory. Four for six on third down so far. Lewis looks to throw, lets it fly. It is pass interference. Keldrick Carper taking down the true freshman, Chase Penry. Usually so good at controlling the ball and keeping that defense fresh, but Colorado owning time of possession today. Another first down, Fontenot with a gaping hole. A fourth down and a foot. They will sneak it again. I'm not sure. That Texas A&M defensive line might have finally stood its ground. Initial spot is short. I think he's short. And the Texas A&M defense, such high expectations, finally puts its foot down. And a fourth down stand inside the five. Two for eight in relief of Haynes King goes back at it. They start with a run. And room for a chain. The surge is way into the secondary. Gain of 15 in the first first down of the day for Texas A&M. Straight drop. Steps up. Checks it down. Isaiah Spiller makes a man miss. First down to midfield. 7 nothing. On third and six, they rush just four. Calzada over the middle, has the tight end, Weidermeyer. A strike for a first down to the 30 on a gain of 16. Show you if you get an opportunity. He has someone open, and unfortunately, couldn't find him.
Seth Small missed from 53 today. This straight away from 41. Low snap again. Great job to get the hold down by the punter, Constantino. And Small pokes it through to get Texas A&M on the board. It is 24. Third down and a mile. They just get what they can with Fontenot. It's a massive call with both these teams struggling to get much going offensively at the moment. And the punt team will have to come out. Calzada steps up incomplete through the hands of Chase Lane. The step they've got to take is actually take the ball away. Underneath Dimitri Stanley, not going to get there. Antonio Johnson again. A chain straight ahead as a first down. Calzada, as he's hit, he lets it go. First down, Chase Lane. He finally finds him as he gets drilled. It's third and three, the look to throw. Calzada rolling, needs midfield. He will try to get it himself and does. Spiller and Smith both in the backfield. Calzada, open man, it's Weidermeyer. The tight end of the 20. Biggest play of the day for the Aggies. Goes for 29. Calzada dances around. On the move. He'll tuck it and run. And lunge. He's in. And it breaks through. The ball came out, but the touchdown signal was given. Before it crosses the goal line. The rolling on the field is the touchdown. The previous play is in the further review. Boy, oh boy, Brock. That, that is, is close. That is about as close as it's going to get. And that's why the initial call is going to be so critical and why those officials huddle. Tip of the football just needs to hit the front side of the goal line. The player fumbled the ball before he went into the end zone. Freshman quarterback Brendan Lewis throws too high and incomplete. Through the hands of Stanley, defended by Johnson. Spiller motions out on second down. Calzada checks it down to him. Spiller with a lot of room and a first down crossing the 35. Smith motions. Calzada given time over the middle. A perfect strike. A chain to the 40. A chain both in a running back. A chain's got it. Has a seam. Devon A chain has a first down. A strike and it's caught. Isaiah Spiller, the running back, lunges to get it. And a fourth consecutive third down conversion. I am telling you the degree of difficulty on these throws. Calzada flushed off his spot. Floating for Spiller. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They finally break through with two. guys on and off trying to get the right personnel there third down and 10 Lewis steps up given time he's gonna get sacked coverage sack for Texas A&M and it's fourth down last chance for the buffs Lewis throws for Stanley who needs the 35 he's not gonna get there Shirt Swarman. He's a few yards short. With a minute 40, Texas A&M takes over. That is best stuff, right? Got to get it done. Pretty tough. And I know Jimbo is going to be proud of the effort, not the execution, but the effort. Texas A&M finds a way. 10-7 the final score as they win their 10th consecutive game back to last season.